burn on campus has been pretty cool. Highlight so far is just the good vibes. Yeah, meeting the other artists and having conversations with people from the university. The stories and the connections hopefully will be shared among many. Part of my painting is this wakahuya that she'll be holding and the image is taken from one of the taonga in the School of Music. They have an extensive collection of taonga puro, of Māori musical instruments. This piece actually represents a receptacle of knowledge, just as the university is, and students come here to gain knowledge and then what they do with that is up to them. This painting, the Tanifa, represents um, the transformation, um, embracing your Māori tana, your taha Māori for the first time. Some people who are just learning te reo Māori, going to study the language, going to trace their whakapapa, who are really embracing their Māori culture for the first time. And um, this talks about that transformation. Similar to myself, but also talking about uh, other people who are learning that they're Tainui for the first time, who are learning that they're from Ngāpuyu for the first time. I'm really interested in that process. And this is what that painting talks about. And it's not an easy process in some cases. Some people are real shy, some people are real uh, embarrassed about not knowing where they're from. Some people will embrace it happily. And all of these different pathways that people take. So I'm on my own pathway too. This artwork responds to a uh, whakatauki, and the whakatauki is uh, kia whakapūmori te haere whakamua. And what that means is I walk backwards into the future with my eyes on the past. It really resonates with me now, this idea that we bring our past with us. And then I also got really interested in, you know, what's the long history of this space? So going right back to when it, before it was a university, it would have been forests full of kaihikatea and tawa and stuff like that. So. That's what this one's about. The concept for this work is exploring a, a form of com communication that was observed by our, our tipuna, our ancestors, and it's a, a cyclical communication occurring between Mother Earth, so Papa Tuanuku, and Rangi Nui, the Sky Father. So Papa Tuanuku releases moisture, and it's met by Rangi, who releases moisture, water from, from the heavens. So it's this, this cyclical, ongoing, fluid form of communication. And so I'm trying to reflect that through the, the blue hues. And then also I'm bringing in um, customary patterns, potama and kaukau, that reinforce concepts around whakapapa, so genealogy. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and especially collaborating with Jeremy Shirley, who's assisting me with this very challenging work because of its height. Um, we're having to work with a cherry picker, it's 23 metres high and he's a very skilled uh, operator on the cherry picker so I feel very safe in his hands as he gets us into the position to apply the paint. So the manu in this piece signifies the manu that came down with the kete matauranga as Tane was uh, descending from the heavens with the baskets of knowledge, this bird followed him and it made a nest here on this puke where the university is at the moment. Over time, it realized that it was feeling hungry, tired, all these new emotions that it had never felt before. So it started to believe that if I stay here any longer, um, I might die. He returned back to the heavens. Before he left, he wanted to gift a handful of people uh, its gift of knowledge as well. In the picture here, you see a portrait of a wahine. She is getting all the knowledge downloaded into her at the moment in the piece. Um, she's just gazing into the korokoro koro of the manu, which is the throat. And she was the next in line to share the knowledge. My favorite part of this piece, even though it was the most painful part, was, was the hair. <laughs> Each strand of the hair was um, brutal. <laughs> so yeah, it took me a whole entire day just to do the hair and make sure the, the hair was right. When the students do return back to here, they're gonna notice that there's a few walls that's got a color thrown up on it and hopefully it inspires them to do whatever they wanna do in their lives.